Seven. What clock are you supposed to use? <laughs> that one's it's seven. Am I it's seven o'clock? Yes. Okay, well, let's call this uh, February 20th, 2020 meeting of the Santa Cruz City Planning Commission to order. Could we have a roll call vote? Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Maxwell? Here. Spellman? Here. Dawson? Here. Nielsen? Here. Greenberg? Conway? Here. Chair Schifrin? Here. Um, Commissioner Green, uh, Greenberg is absent with notification. She's not feeling that well. Uh, are there any statements of disqualification? We'll now move on to oral communications. This is the time on our agenda where anyone can speak on items that are not on our agenda, but properly before the commission for up to three minutes. Does anybody want to speak on oral communication? Seeing no one, uh, we will move to announcements. Are there any announcements? Seeing none, we will move to the approval of the minutes. Um, is there anybody who wants to comment on the minutes or make a motion to approve them? I make a motion to approve the minutes for February 6, 2020. I'll second. Any discussion on the motion to approve the minutes? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes unanimously. Um, there's uh, tonight on the consent calendar, we have two public hearings. Um, these are. Um, the consent agenda is, is a part of the agenda where all the items on the consent agenda get made, uh, uh, get approved in one motion, unless somebody wants to pull an item off the consent agenda, and then we would have a separate public hearing. Uh, does anybody in the commission want to pull either of the two items we have? Is there anybody in the audience who would like to pull either of those items? Okay, so normally what would happen is somebody would make a motion just to approve the consent agenda, but since these are public hearings, I'm going to open uh, both public hearings to just make, you know, belt and suspenders. Does anybody want to speak to the, either one of these uh, items? Seeing no one, I'm going to close the public hearing and ask if uh, somebody would like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, the consent agenda is approved. So if you were here for the consent agenda items, then both approved. So there's no general business. May ask, is there any general business? There's none on the agenda. Are there any information items? Um, just that uh, so some upcoming uh, agenda items that we have. Um, on March 5th, we potentially have the electrification ordinance. Um, we had uh, the city council last Tuesday reviewed some various options. Some may have affected the zoning code, others not. Um, and it's looking like the option that they went with um, is likely not going to affect the zoning code, but we're still analyzing it. Um, we did pre-notice it. So in the event that um, it's not going to go before you, there'll just be information on the agenda indicating that it's been dropped. Um, and then uh, for March 19th, um, we've got... Uh, inclusionary housing ordinance updates and then also um, we're looking at um, scheduling uh, potentially a referral from the city council involving reconciliation of the general plan and the zoning code amendment so that would be a so that's not coming on the fifth it's we had that for the 19th for the 19th yeah so if there's no um, electrification item on the fifth Get it. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure the public is aware that it's not going to be heard. Okay. Um, so are there any other information items anybody has? Subcommittee, advisory body, oral reports. Are there any oral reports? I can re just report that the um, housing subcommittee has not met since the last meeting. We have uh, we had some illnesses. We have a meeting scheduled for uh, the 4th, which I think is the week after next. So I'll have a report after that. Um, I'll give a very brief report. I didn't at the last meeting of the Technical Advisory Committee of the 
two contracts that the city has, one for the beach adaptation and one for the Westcliff adaptation. I forget the f official names. There was a workshop that was held. Um, recently, there's been a survey, and they're going to be they're, the consultants are kind of getting to the point of trying to narrow down the various scenarios and options and the different zones along the cliffs and the beach. Um, and so there are going to be more public uh, more input on that. I think in April. Okay, items refer to future agendas. Uh, I have two items I'd like to refer to uh, the March 5th agenda. One of them has to do with the, um, sec the proposed Section 8 amendment to the inclusionary ordinance. I know that's scheduled for action on the 19th, and I hope that it will be possible for the commission to act on it on the 19th, but I think it would be given the, the general interest in this issue, uh, I think it would be helpful to have a, just a, a, a discussion of policy options, not specific ordinances. Maybe the subcommittee will be ready to give a, you know, just an update on where they are. Other commissioners may have ideas about what they think should be in the ordinance. Um, and I just think it would be useful to have a discussion in front of the whole commission uh, on what kinds of policy options there are for the Section 8 amendment to the ordinance so that when we get a specific ordinance recommendation from the subcommittee on the 19th, it will be possible to act without having to delay it for further work. So. You know, I actually feel like that's premature. Um, we've been, as a subcommittee that was appointed to take this on for deliberation and discussion, we have started our work. We've consulted with attorneys and begun to draft. The draft that came back wasn't, didn't quite hit the mark. And I feel like the fifth is premature. Um, I'm very happy to give an update on the progress the committee has done, but for the purposes of deliberation, it would be my preference to wait until the committee has gotten further along with its work. Well, I guess I'm feeling it would be helpful to give input to the committee based on concerns that other commissioners might have. Well, because, I mean, the goal is to get the commission to a, make a recommendation on the 19th. So I think having a pre-discussion of what the options are uh, would be helpful. I yeah. disagree, but well, okay. Well, I'd just like to chime in and say, um, I, I think it would be helpful at at sort of the high conceptual level, not getting down into the ordinance language, which is going to be more, um, which is the task of the subcommittee, as you said, and you guys are starting to work through, but sort of um, approaches at a high level, conceptual level, I think it would be really useful to have that discussion. Um, so across the commission, we can kind of see where everyone is at, and then I think we would have a better, um, a better ability on the 19th um, to come together and, and take action on that item um, so that we're kind of all moving in the same direction. Um, and I think just an open discussion uh, would be really helpful for me personally. Okay. Um, I don't think a motion is needed or is a motion needed to do it. I think we're just adding an item to the a discussion item for the March 5th agenda. Yeah, I'm looking at the bylaws. Pardon me? I'm looking at the bylaws and... I couldn't find anything specific about the bylaws. I know um, I have been looking at the uh, handbook, advisory committee handbook, as well as the bylaws. And the chair has the ability to put items on the agenda. So, I mean, my intention would be to put this on, either just have it through this letting the com whole commission know the intention to have this on the next agenda. Um, if there's, you know, if, com if commission, if there's a motion not to put it on the agenda, we can vote on that. But with that, absent that, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I just think it will be helpful to talk about some of the policy issues, enforcement issues, how, how many Section 8 units we're talking about, how, it, how it's organized. I think from so my perspective, what are you um, expecting in terms of a preparation and a report? 
Are you just appealing? Are you just wanting everyone to voice opinions? Because much, yes, um, you're they... not looking for a staff report. You're not looking for me to burn the midnight oil no. on a report, <laughs> which seems right. blatantly unfair. Right. <laughs> um, if the if the subcommittee has an interim report they want to make, fine. If they don't, I still think it will be useful uh, to hear what other commissioners have and just have a discussion of the policy issues. And then that will be the goal is to sort of inform the subcommittee of where other commissioners are coming from so that that can be taken into consideration however you take it into consideration. I mean, the Brown Act makes it impossible for us to talk among ourselves essentially in more uh, a minority, and so th from my perspective, this is a very important decision. Has big implications. The 20% inclusionary was very controversial. And I think it's it would be uh, worthwhile to have an opportunity for the commission as a whole to talk about some options before a recommendation comes before us to have to vote to send it to the council. Because I am hoping that we can vote on the 19th and get a recommendation to the council. Anyway, that's one item for future agenda, uh, for the next agenda, for the March 5th agenda. The other item I think we should talk about um, is just our committees. Um, we have, essentially, we're, we have one committee at this point, a housing committee. I'm also, I'm the commission representative on this uh, PAC. Um, there, I think it's, it would be worthwhile to talk about the city has applied for and received a grant for objective, uh, objective standards, uh, to pay for an objective standards consultant. I think it would be worthwhile to talk about the possible commission role in that process. Uh, what does it make sense? I've had a conversation with the planning director. He feels that probably what will come out of that is, should be a TAC. I think we should talk about whether it makes sense for it to be a TAC or a subcommittee of the, of the commission and kind of decide what to do. The other issue is the housing subcommittee, um, unless uh, I'd like to hear from the housing subcommittee about the larger work program. What are the other issues that the subcommittee is going to be working on? Um, and, you know, sh just have a discussion about Inclusionary is one, but there have been other issues as well. Is one committee going to do it? What's the timeline going to be? I just think it's worth having a more detailed discussion of the work program of that committee. So I would like to suggest that we have a discussion. So we're not going to have anything else on the agenda next time. Potential electrification. Comes up, unless the electrification comes up or something else comes up. I think we can have some time to really sort of talk about these issues and um, try to reach a kind of consensus. Well, other commissioners want to weigh in on that suggestion. So hearing none, um, it's a clear to staff that we're going to have these uh, two items on the agenda. And I think we can just put them on as information items. I don't think, since we're not going to have a staff report, and, you know, commissioners can submit things on writing, writing if they want, but they don't have to. And we can just have a discussion on those two items. Okay. Um, so if there's no other business, um, can we have a motion to adjourn? Sure. Uh, motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, we are now adjourned.